In this question, I've already started to separate by dividing by y minus 1 and multiplying by dx. And so over here, we have the integral of both sides. The integral of y minus 1 is natural log of absolute value of y minus 1. The integral of the other side, there's an inner function in here. This inner function is x squared plus 2x plus pi, the derivative of that, when we think about u, u being x squared plus 2x plus pi, that means u prime is 2x plus 2, or factored out is 2 times the quantity x plus 1. So as we think about kind of our shortcut u substitution, we're going to take x plus 1, times cosine of u, and we're going to divide it by 2 times x plus 1, and the x plus 1s are going to cancel out, and so that's really what we're integrating. Integral of that du, well this is like 1 half, the integral of cosine is sine we plug our u back in, x squared plus 2x plus pi. And that's what we have here. We have 1 half sine x squared plus 2x plus pi plus c, of course, because we always have a c. Now we can find that c value right now by looking at our initial conditions of 0 comma 5 over 2. So that means the ln of 5 over 2 minus 1 equals 1 half sine of a bunch of zeros plus pi plus c. Well sine of pi is 0 so that means our constant c equals the natural log of 3 halves. Okay, now we'll go ahead and exponentiate e to the ln and e to the 1 half of all of this becomes plus or minus y minus 1. We'll go ahead and break this absolute value all in one step and add the plus or minus. Equals e to the 1 half sine of x squared plus 2x plus pi times e to the ln of 3 over 2 is the same as keeping that constant up in the exponent. Well that gives us 3 halves e to the 1 half sine of x squared plus 2x plus pi. y minus 1 is equal to plus or minus all of that. When we add 1 to both sides, we can just tack on a 1 at the end. Now we just have to decide, was it the positive or the negative root? And we'll do that by plugging in our initial condition. When I plug a 0 in for these x's, sine of pi is 0. And so e to the 1 half of 0 is just e. So when I have 1 plus 3 halves, that would give me the 5 halves I need. 1 minus 3 halves wouldn't work. So that means I want the positive root. And my final answer is y equals 3 over 2 e to the 1 half sine of x squared plus 2x plus pi all plus 1. Most importantly, though, Many of the errors came from forgetting about 
the inner function, u, and doing u substitution or the shortcut.